And now, we're going to introduce you to a class of 2024 tight end and defensive end. He is a Kentucky Future Star alum. In addition to football, he finished middle school with a 4.0 GPA. He was all county in basketball and averaged a double-double down the stretch. In summer league baseball, he's currently pitched 10 scoreless innings with 15 strikeouts. Ladies and gentlemen, on the grid with Mr. Jonah Atkins. Atkins is a kid that kept this historic Bifferman Stadium rocking last year. These fans on Pond Creek absolutely love this kid. You know, they can't wait till he gets to the high school level. He has so much versatility. They can see him playing at virtually every position on the field if the coach wants him to. And Atkins said anything he can do to help his team win, he's going to do it. Now, the interesting thing about this kid is he actually missed the quarter of the season to start last year, but somehow found a way to finish top three in just about every statistical category they are. Learn all about Jonah Atkins and more in this episode of On The Grid. Atkins with me, Jonah. What's going on? Hey, man. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Not a problem at all. So, look, we're coming back uh hopefully pretty soon into the swing of things getting back into football season i know that there have been some guidelines and some restrictions put into place for uh high school athletics and football um tell me a little bit about how that has been trying to get back into the swing of things but at the same time trying to stay safe and what are those guidelines and restrictions that y'all are having to like undergo and follow by right now yeah, we got to go. Um, right now we have two different groups going, one at 8.30 in the morning and 7 in the evening. And we got about 20 there, but we split into groups of 10. And in the weight room, we have to wear masks the whole time, which can get pretty annoying. And it's just, it makes it tough. But at the same time, you really get to know your coaches a lot better because you spend more time with them. But it's just been a very long road and it doesn't look like it's going to be in soon. This is going to follow us. It's not just going to like disappear. Um, but I think that the, you know, the restrictions and the guidelines that you're having to follow by right now, they're good to have in place. But like you said, a few of, a few of them like wearing the mask and stuff working out. I know for myself, like I was in the grocery store yesterday having to wear that mask and I was about to pass out, man. I couldn't imagine like having to, you know, work out or play in it uh i was just walking around trying to you know carry my two-year-old and i was i was about to die man uh which that that might just go for my conditioning maybe i need to get back in the weight room or something but it it is tough man it, it's tough to do that when you've never had to do it before uh, i want to know what you've been focusing on most in your game that maybe you've seen last season that you're you know looking to improve on this next season basically where i hurt my wrist last year uh, i missed out on a lot of conditioning with the middle school so i wasn't really in shape for most of that season i kind of had to work on it during practice and games just on my own and my feet work and my speed is just not where it needs to be right now and that's what i'm really trying to work on this season is just getting faster and better feet just being able to move quickly off the ball, just like how fast can I get in 10 yards, just like quick speed. Did the, the future stars combine? How did it go? Uh, you know, what was it all about? What did you see that you know now that you, you need to improve on? And I know you went to the, uh, the app prep combine too. So tell me a little bit about both of those and how those went for you. The Appalachian Prep Combine, that's the one I went to first and just kind of saying like where you compare to to like the older players because now that I'm not in seventh grade I got to compete with the other high schoolers. Just being able to see how you add up to those guys, it really, it shows where you are and what you need to improve on and what you're strong at. And the Future Stars Combine, uh, Coach Rico Hughes, he put on a really, really fun time for everybody and made sure it was safe and just a good experience because he had a lot of um, NFL players there that came from future stars. Those NFL players were sitting where we were whenever we were taking a knee, listening to him talk, 
and it was just really cool to hear their journey there how some of them just go to really small schools and just work their butt off and make it it's you get to see where you are with your peers and your classmates that you got to go work with for a whole week and then got to play a game with um, basically he just had people that played on the team last year the all of those grades okay so that's pretty cool man you got to see some of your old teammates uh was there yeah. any any of that 2024 class anybody that i knew yeah uh jason perry he's one of my okay. really good friends from stars yeah he's going to uh to breath it now they uh, they pulled yeah. them over there they like doing that coming down here <laughs> hopefully he watches this and sees it uh, the fact that y'all are good friends in the same grad class you him yeah. hilton uh McCaden, good lord y'all would have some talent whether it be on the varsity level, freshman, wherever you play, uh, JV, varsity, whatever happens, what are you looking forward to most? Um, probably I'm looking forward to most playing with Brett because I've never got to play with him before. And this is his senior year, so I'm just really excited to be able to play with him, learn from him, and just be able to for next year whenever I'll get my chance, which is I get my chance this year too. But I'm just real excited to play with him.